Greetings, Your Excellency. Tavern Keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantin. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. It's such a pleasure to have you seen any... Thank you for your visit. See you soon. There you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. Well then, were you able to repair it all? Yes, just like new. Or nearly. That does indeed look like fine work. You know what you're doing. I would hope. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin now? <laughs> Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. 
Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. It's not possible just now. It's blocked. It's blocked. It's not possible just now. Posters we posted, someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate the rooster. Oh, he's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him.
Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to crush! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today, we set sail for adventure. If you only knew how these river scum treat... Do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. They haven't spotted us. We could sneak out of here silently. We have a ship to board. You've always been the reasonable soul. Don't you think these brutes deserve a punishment? Yes, without a doubt. But don't you think there are more pressing matters? Kurt. It is your highness's decision to make. Whatever it is, I shall... Madam? Constantine d'Orsay, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. 
But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tia Fridi. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come on. Let's send them a hand. How do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I have the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Madam, gentlemen.
Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. Charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue? Gentlemen, would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Go and trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health! Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency, lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence, we must wait for our escort. No need. Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? 
My admiral laid me off. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope that there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service, for a while. <laughs>